Hi guys, it is a hot, sticky midsummer day in early April in the great state of Texas, <coughs> heading to 95 degrees today. 95 degrees. So I guess that garbage man is going to uh, be a little warm today. Where is it? It is Tuesday, April 5th. 2022 uh, as the garbage piles up here in the collapse of global industrial civilization would you please take that away take that garbage away get it out of here don't want to think about that garbage again so uh, speaking of garbage here it is guys you knew it wouldn't take long uh, so I guess this latest dire damning stark report uh, from the UN came out yesterday and as you could expect all those doomers those Debbie Downer doomers uh, just holding up this latest watered down greenwashed uh, crap about how we are gonna save this planet I guess uh, obviously uh, Associated Press listens to Collapse Chronicles and this is what uh, Associated Press has to say to Doomers as Doomers become the most despised human beings on the planet. We are we are the few, the proud and uh, the mainstream media Associated Press is wasting no time and talking about anybody uh, questioning the uh, hopium in the latest uh, UN report how we are going to save this planet this is the eighth biggest story on the planet from Associated Press uh, this fellow named Seth Borenstein who I had a little bit of respect for until this afternoon this is Seth's response uh, no obituary for earth scientists fight climate doom talk scientists fight climate doom talk and then of course uh, the number one person they lead off I actually thought Michael Mann would be the first scientist in their list you know at least Michael Mann I think is a climatologist but no they lead off with the scientist talking trash about doomers with Christina Figueres with doomer chick Christina Figueres who just wants it for the record she is not a doomer chick and uh, as it would have taken the editors at Associated Press about 10 seconds to determine if they had gone over to Wikipedia Christina Figueres as far as I can tell from her resume has never taken a class in climatology or any other environmental uh, science so she actually Christina Figueres wasn't she one of the head honchos at the International Monetary Fund you know those bunch of tree huggers over there the IMF saving the planet she has a master's degree from the London School of Economics is where uh, she got her masters from in social anthropology uh, good God uh, that can sure as hell get the right-wing uh, New World Order uh, conspiracy wackos panties in a wide yes anyway so moving on from the first of the many knee slappers calling Christina Figueres a scientist okay Seth give us the scoop and I will put the link on here you can read this yourself just so you can see the date on this is April 4th not April Fool's Day. This is not 
an April Fool's story. This is the eighth biggest story on planet Earth today. It's not the end of the world. There you go. You read it right here in the mainstream media. It is not the end of the world. It only seems that way. But <clears throat> appearances can be deceiving just because it looks like the end of the world does not mean it is the end of the world. <clears throat> Climate change is going to get worse, <clears throat> but as gloomy as, <coughs> as gloomy as the latest scientific reports are, including the newest from the United Nations, scientist after scientist stresses that curbing global warming is not hopeless as we're looking at 95 degrees on April 5th. The science says it is not game over for planet Earth or humanity. Action, action can prevent some of the worst if done soon. They say, there you go, the definition of hopium in 2022 is action to prevent some of the worst. I love the new definition of optimism in 2022. After decades of trying to get the public's attention, spur action by governments and fight against organized movements denying the science, such as anybody looking at the science, at the science and saying it is not game over. You know, organized movements denying the science which is, in this case, the mainstream media denying the science of, sorry, I guess, are those the people they're talking about? That organized movement to deny the science? Climate researchers say they have a new fight on their hands. Doomism. Doomism. There you go. Doomism is the feeling that nothing can be done, so why bother? Doomism is young people publicly swearing off having children because of climate change. So one of the biggest fights for climate scientists in the year 2022 apparently is to uh, convince young people to bring more humans on to the planet to save the planet. This is a big fight for climate scientists like all of these breeders. A new fight to convince young people to have more children. University of Maine climate scientist Jacqueline Gill noticed in 2018 Fewer people telling her climate change is not real and more, quote, people that we now call doomers that, you know, believe that nothing can be done, close quote. Gill says it is just not true. If anybody you know comes up and tells you that you might as well get out there and enjoy it while you still can because, sorry, you just need to tell them that's just not true. Quote, I refuse to write off or write an obituary for something that is still alive, Gill told the Associated Press, referring to the Earth, they had to clarify the statement that she was referring to planet Earth as something that is still alive. Quote, we are not through a threshold or past the threshold. There is no such thing as pass-fail 
when it comes to the climate crisis. It's really, really, really hard to walk people back from that ledge, close quote, Gill said, referring to doomers uh, who understand on a cellular level just how completely doomed we are. Now, the garbage man already came down the road once. He went this way, he came back, and now exactly what is the garbage truck? Maybe the garbage man uh, wants to come listen to my rant. I need to go ask the garbage man, are you a doomer? <clears throat> really, really, really hard to walk people back from the ledge of doomism. Yes. Okay. This is Wooster College psychology professor Susan Clayton, who studies climate change anxiety. She says doomism, quote, is definitely a thing. It is a way, doomism is a way of saying, I don't have to go to the effort of making changes because there is nothing I can do anyway. Close quote. And uh, I was going to jump to an associated story. Uh, next to this one, but I might come back with a second rant instead of making it part of this one. I don't want to break the thread, but I'm going to come back probably in a second rant talking about this. It's a way of saying I don't have to go to the effort of making changes, you know, meaning consum individual consumer and lifestyle choices because there's nothing I can do anyway. Now, of course, I don't know if this is uh, one of the scientists, uh, you know, trying to convince young people to have children, to bring more children into the planet to save the planet. I'm, un I'm unclear how this statement ties into that one. Uh, just one of the, uh, the mysteries. Okay, now this is uh, Woodwell Climate Research Center scientist Jennifer Francis, who I used to have some respect for until uh, this article, I guess. Quote, everybody knows it's going to get worse. We can do a lot to make it less bad than the worst case scenario close quote yes we can do a lot to make it less bad than the worst case scenario as every single bit as i've had the pointed out in several rants every single bit of these you know now that we have the historical data and we can go back to say the year 2000 looking at these 20 year doomer forecast virtually every single aspect of from 2000 you know looking forward till now the worst case scenario is worse than the worst case scenario over and over and over again things are worse than we previously thought, but we can still do a lot to make it less bad than the worst case scenario. Okay, and once again, here we go about how the IPCC just issued its report, its third report in six months. Once again, this was not the IPCC's report. This was my rant yesterday. Even Time Magazine having covering the story today. This was not an IPCC report. It was a United Nations report where economists such as Christina Figueres 
of the IMF got hold of the climate report and watered it down and greenwashed it. So we need to correct that little. We need to stop saying it is an IPCC report. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then they, you know, they run through, uh, you know, the latest uh, report. Okay, so now we get to Christina Figueres, the former UN Climate Secretary who helped forge the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement and now Figueres runs an organization <laughs> called Global Optimism. Yes, the old economist, uh, social anthropologist, uh, <laughs> economist has now started a new group, an anti-doomer group called Global Optimism, otherwise known as Global Apocaloptimism. Take it away, Christina. It is not saying, the new report is not, it's not that they are saying you are condemned to a future of destruction and increasing misery. What they are saying is the business as usual path is an atlas of misery or a future of increasing destruction. But we don't have to choose that. <coughs> and that is the piece, the second piece that sort of always gets dropped out of the conversation, close quote, you, you know, out of the doom, out of the doomer conversation. Yes. United Nations Environmental Program Director Inger Anderson said with reports like these, officials are walking a tightrope. What is this dude doing? He's sitting out here at the end of the driveway. He's already, he already put the garbage in his truck. Now he's just sitting there on a level street, hitting his Jake brakes that I absolutely love having a garbage truck uh, as the backdrop to the garbage in the mainstream media. All right, what is Inger? having to say. She says officials are walking a tightrope. They are trying to spur the world to action because scientists are calling this a crisis, but they also don't want to send people spiraling into paralysis. because it is too gloomy. Quote, we are not doomed. We are not doomed, but rapid action is absolutely essential, which of course is one of the top 10 reasons we are doomed. When, with every month or year that we delay action, climate change becomes more complex, expensive, and difficult to overcome. All right, we're now going to listen to James Skia, co-chair of Monday's report. Don't know what the co-chair of this latest doom and gloom report means. The big message is that the big message we've got is that human activities got us into this problem and human agency can actually get us out of it again. It's not all lost. We really have the chance to do something. Close quote. Monday's report does detail that it is unlikely without immediate and drastic carbon pollution cuts that the world will limit 
warming to one and a half degrees Celsius since pre-industrial times, which is the world's agreed upon goal, the world has already warmed 1.1 degrees and earlier reports have shown that after one and a half degrees, more people die, more ecosystems are in trouble, and climate change worsens rapidly. Quote, we don't fall over the cliff at one and a half degrees, Skia said, even if we were to go beyond one and a half it doesn't mean we throw up our hands in despair. Close quote. Yes. Uh, anyway, guys, I see. Good Lord, this uh, goes on and on. We now have two garbage trucks. We have two garbage trucks and a, I don't know what the hell this is. We now have three trucks in the background. All right. While, I guess, Skea sees the increase in doom talk, doom talk as inevitable, NASA climate scientist Gavin Schmidt said he knows firsthand that people are wrong. People are wrong when they say nothing can be done. Quote, I work with people and I'm watching other people and I'm seeing the administration and people are doing things and they're doing the right things for the most part as best they can. So I am seeing people do things. Close quote, yes, uh, do things like uh, burning more fossil fuels in the past 12 months than any 12 month period in history. That's one thing they're doing. I guess they're, that Joe Biden is pulling out, uh, you know, these military laws to save the planet by digging up the planet. Yes, all right, and you knew it had to happen. Michael Mann, there's no way you're going to do an anti-doomer uh, analysis without bringing in one of the most uh, just uh, irredeemable apocalyptimists on the planet, finally. Pennsylvania State University climate scientist Michael Mann said scientists used to to think Earth would be committed to decades of future warming even after people stopped bump, pumping more carbon dioxide into the air. But newer analyses show it will only take a few years after net zero emissions for carbon levels in the air to start to go down. Yes, because of carbon being sucked up by the oceans and forest, man said. Yes. Okay. So how does this doomism get started? How does all of this doomer talk get started? Scientists' le legitimate worries are getting repeated and amplified like that kid's game of telephone. And by the time you're done, it's we're doomed when what the scientist actually said was we need to reduce our carbon emissions 50% within this decade to avoid one and a half degrees of warming, which would be really bad. Two degrees of warming would be far worse than one and a half warming, but it is not the end of civilization Man said. Man said doomism has become far more of a threat than denialism, and he believes that some of the same people, trade associations, and companies that denied climate change are encouraging people who say it is too late. Uh, okay. 
Uh, guys, I need to be real careful here. So guess who, take a wild guess who they, uh, a wild guess who they interview as the voice of the Doomosphere. Since this is a, uh, a, 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 a person that we don't talk about on, uh, okay, see if you can figure out who this is. This is an ecologist and an intellectual leader of the doom movement. An intellectual leader of the doom movement making the most preposterous claim of any clueless moron in the Doomer movement that humans are going to be extinct in four years. Uh, according to this Doomer, he has not received a paycheck in 13 years. He does not vote and he, okay, he lived off the grid for a decade. I'm not going to get in. I'm not taking this rant here. Uh, this clueless moron Doomer who gives every other Doomer with a brain a bad name publicly has predicted humanity will go extinct in 2026. Uh, anyway, I, we need to move on. Uh, anyway, talking. Uh, but I do like Jennifer Francis' uh, opinion of this clueless moron or anybody claiming humans are going to be extinct in 2026. Thank you. Jennifer Francis is back on my good side. There is no way in hell humans will go extinct by 2026. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you, Jennifer, for getting back in Sam Mitchell's good graces. I can imagine uh, our friend uh, in the Doomosphere, our intellectual, what are they, our intellectual voice in the Doomosphere, when he reads in Associated Press, Jennifer Francis saying there is no way in hell humans will go extinct by 2026. Okay, back to the story. We got two more paragraphs. Humans probably, probably can no longer prevent Arctic sea ice from disappearing in the summer, but with new technology and emissions cuts, Francis said, quote, we stand a real chance of preventing those other catastrophic scenarios out there, close quote. In psychology, Professor Clayton said, quote, no matter how bad things are, they can always be worse. You can make a difference between bad and worse. That is very powerful, very self-affirming. So these, uh, these garbage men are looking at what kind of, what in the hell is this dude? I guess they're, uh, they're having a problem with their garbage truck. Anyway, guys, I was going to make the uh, article, the UN's climate disaster plan is not what liberals would expect, but uh, I'm just going to make that a second quick rant coming right up in just one minute. Little dog, we have another rant to do, I hate to tell you. <laughs> 